Dr. Ewan Cameron was president of the American and Canadian Psychiatric Associations. He ran the Allen Memorial Institute, which was founded in 1943 with funds from the Rockefeller Foundation. Nazi paperclip scientists made their way into the CIA and military-sponsored mind control programs here in the United States and Canada. Some of these scientists were friends of Dr. Cameron. Money for Dr. Cameron's operation came from the CIA and was funneled through the Cornell Society for the Investigation of Human Ecology. Psychic driving, the repetition of a recorded message for 24 hours a day, programmed the empty mind. The Canadian government settled a class action lawsuit by 250 former patients of Dr. Cameron decades later, but no person or institution has ever been disciplined or punished for these activities. Linda MacDonald was 25 years old in 1963 when Dr. Cameron treated her for mild postpartum depression. She received 102 electroshock therapy treatments, 80 days of drug-induced sleep, and emerged completely depatterned. Dr. Cameron was the premier psychiatrist of the 20th century. He had studied Nazi scientists at the Nuremberg trials, and later replicated many of their methods, and sought their assistance in the race to control the human mind. There. It was an awful feeling to realize when I found this out that the man whom I had thought cared about what happened to me didn't give a damn. I was a fly. <laughs>